staring at that wall. Um, hey, why you still got stick when you have axe? Because I'm gonna use the stick till it breaks. Ooh, okay. Well, it's almost broken anyway, so. Yeah, I know, which is why I said I'm gonna use it till it breaks. I guess that's S okay. Silly goose. Goose? Goose. You can be my wingman man anytime, goose. No. Jeff, you can be mine. Shit. Dude, I feel like Top Gun references are applicable to any situation. Pretty much. Except if you go to the Top Gun Academy. Oh, and you get fined for it? Yeah, we were, they fine you $5 for every... What if you... I, I always wonder, like, what if you've never actually seen Top Gun and you just happen to live your life like Maverick does? And you just... You go there and you're that, like, crazy guy. You do flybys without, you know... Without telling anyone. You're just like, woo! I actually have never seen Top Gun. Are you fucking kidding me? I've never me? seen Top Gun. I just know that reference. Oh my god. We're gonna have to spend a day and watch Top Gun. We have to spend a day watching a bunch of crap yeah. that we plan on watching. Who has time for this shit? Um, we do. Except not except in the late afternoon when you don't have work and I don't have school. And David is not doing whatever he does. And John's not... Being John? I don't know what he does anymore. Just being John, basically. basically. But um, I, don't, I honestly don't know how you guys survived without me this long. It's it's been rough, has it? I can I can. I imagine. have been on black tar heroin. Have you been gone? <laughs> Oof. I know I know the feels, man. I've been there <laughs> most of my life. Really? No. Yeah. Oof. I used to weigh three hundred pounds until I ran into the black tar heroin. Uh, you just picked up a heavy backpack. I did, and I'm about to figure out how to get to my inventory. <laughs> Uh, just press every button until things happen. <laughs> Basically. Why can't I remember? Is it how like to... right on the D pad? I, is it? No. No. Nope. Up on the D pad? There we go. Oh, look <laughs> at me knowing things. <laughs> look at me forgetting how to do things. Alright, you gotta unequip. Oh, yeah, I know. Man. Boom, boom! You can just hit X and it automatically equips it for you. Well, I feel like that was too much work for you. Well, shut your mouth. Hey. Yeah. We went over this once. Ooh. Look, shotgun. Oh, God, the worst shotgun in this game. The little two-shot fucking piece of ass. And a good thing it gave me two... I like being stuck in this chair. This two ammo on it. I want to dodge roll. You don't know how to dodge roll. I will at one point, though. I'll be like, hmm, dodge roll. Oh, mm, dodge place. roll. Mm, mm. I always find myself, like, picking one character that I really favored and just, like going hard with them and then they die like fucking just Oops. stop playing this game for a while pretty much that's pretty much I'm just like damn it that's how it was with uh with uh this guy here oh Marcus yeah Marcus for what for me at the beginning and then I got mauled by a feral and then I was like <gasps> Marcus no. I oh, man I hated the feral cause I just saw a zombie like fucking crouched on the ground. I was like, oh, what's oh. that? It's just a regular zombie. What well, could go wrong? Although, once you get into the big town, it gets kind of easy because you can just take cars and ran, the, ran oh, them yeah, into yeah, everything. Yeah. Oh, actually, I think a, a new update came out that they actually dodged them. They dodge cars now? Yeah. What, the ferals or just zombies in general? Ferals. Zombies are just zombies. I feel, I feel like ferals always did that. I don't know. Either way, they're fucking assholes. Was there an update for this lately? Yeah. I, I just updated before we played this. Did we? Yeah. I was not paying attention. Apparently not. Oh god, that's a cliff. You'll die. No, I won't. I'll just slide down it and find it. How do I... I don't want to go the long way, though. Okay, then just fucking do it. See, look, I'm fine. <coughs> Took, like, two damage. It's whatever. It's whatevs. Help the stranger. Look, it's... That's the exact opposite of what my mother told me to do. What did she tell you to do? Look, zombies. I never talk to strangers. I like how she's just man. She's a fucking boss. She became yeah. She became my yeah second after. Her. And the and the worst part about it, she never like died for me in this game. Yeah, she just vanished. Oh like, yeah, I think you told me about that. But she didn't appear in my like log saying she left the camp or that she died or anything. She, she was just, just fucking gone. She just disappeared. And she had a nice rifle, and I was like, 
man, I wish I had that rifle back. And then I like your little cinematic pans while they're talking and make it all dramatic. Well, I mean, the soundtrack is cool. It's almost like a J.J. Abrams film. I know. More lens flares in your soundtrack, though. You know what's funny, though? People give J.J. Abrams crap for all the lens flares he does, but I feel like that's what it would actually look like looking through a camera. In space? In space at the sun. Probably. But. Yeah. And then, I just think that's funny. That's that. That's like the one thing they point out by this movie. Uh, yeah. Probably because there's like nothing else bad with them. And they're yeah, like, I've never mm. had a problem with you. Like, <laughs> lens flares. <laughs> Here's that little detail that makes it actually kind of cool. It's bad. <laughs> we hate it. No, uh, I was never actually really a big fan of Star Trek until no. he did the remake. And yeah. I was like, hey, this is pretty cool, I guess. Mm-hmm. Still a little, you know, dinky, but... We have, uh... My dad has a couple autographed books from, uh... Um... Richard Nimoy, the guy that did... Oh, uh, yeah, 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 Spock, and, uh... George Sakai. Fucking George Sakai is my and, favorite uh, person on this planet. And Ahura. Hello. I can't, I can't remember what the actress's name who did her in the oh, original show. yeah, I don't remember. Um... Sorry for forgetting your name. I'm sorry. It's, we love you. You were my favorite. You can be in our fan club. Um, you can be my wingman anytime. <laughs> <laughs> See? <laughs> Works. Um... Speaking of Star Trek, uh, Star Wars? Um, yes. How did you feel about the prequels? Um, I watched the prequels before I saw the original three. So oh, so you were okay with them? I'm, I'm okay with them, but watching them now, I can understand why people are upset about them. Um, and there's I, a video, like, two videos, actually, on YouTube that I want to show you. Yeah. Uh, what are they, fucking, so the audience can see them? Uh, it's something like, what if, uh, episode one and episode two were good? Oh, Yeah. And it's this guy, he's running through, like, what changes the story would be awesome, mm-hmm. and actually make the plot relevant to the actual three originals, and it's, uh, like, Obi-Wan actually really likes Padawan, uh, Padme, I'm Padme. Sorry. and, uh, in episode one he has to choose between, uh, saving Padme or saving Qui-Gon Jinn from Darth Maul. And he saves Padme, so that makes the loss of Qui-Gon Jinn even bigger on him. And then, um, Darth Maul doesn't die. He just, uh, he just gets cut in half. And he comes back in episode two, and that's... With robot legs? Like in the expanded universe? Like how it actually happens, but it provides more of a, like, plot for Obi-Wan, more depth to him. Mm -hmm. Like, that's his reason for doing things, so he can get back at... Darth Maul. Yeah. Um, what else happened? Uh, it, it, it expands on the friendship between Obi-Wan and Anakin. That way when Anakin turns into a dickhole, uh, it's actually, it actually matters. Yeah. I like how we're just standing here while the zombies are this guy apart. <laughs> no big deal. Um, also, if anyone else noticed while well, Jeff is telling the story, we are Aflac. Uh, go send him millions of, inv- of friend requests on uh, this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you guys all be friends with him. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Yeah, no, uh, I wish, one of the things I wish, um, I didn't mind Hayden Christensen as Anakin. I know a lot of people hated him. Oh, no, him. I had no problem with that. Um, I just wish they wrote his character better. That, that's, yeah. They, I, I wish they had more than George Lucas writing all the characters. I felt like they were very empty compared to... Like, they could have been so much more. Even, even Han Solo, when... He wasn't even, like, apparently wasn't going to be, like, a big character. He was only supposed to be in episode four. Yeah. When they brought him back Mm -hmm. again and again, he just became his own character and his own thing. I liked how, um, how even Harrison Ford, in some of his interviews, talks about how poorly George Lucas's writing is. (laughs) <laughs> Dude, and how Harrison Ford does not give a fuck about not. anyone's feelings. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, and he talks about sometimes how uh, when he was reading, he'd read the script and he'd change it while they were filming without telling anyone to something he thought was better. And it did it work? It just it, worked. Um, I think if I'm remembering correctly, the the line in. The second one, when he gets frozen in carbonite. Oh, and she's like, I love you, and he's I like, know. He says, I know. That was him saying that. that oh, really? That wasn't scripted. I feel like uh, most of the best things in movies are totally... Are, are like, the actors, yeah, yeah, the actors just going, all right, let's do this. Yeah. Um, like in... Uh, you've seen The Dark Knight, right? Yeah. 
um, the scene where the Joker's blowing up the hospital. Yep. And it doesn't go off, and he turns around, looks at it, gives it that funny look, and keeps pressing the button. Yeah. Totally not scripted. Like, the explosives were faulty. <laughs> so he turns around, looks at it, starts pressing it, and then it actually started exploding. He was like, oh, shit, I gotta get out of here. <laughs> so, I mean, it just worked out perfectly. That's super funny. I love that in movies, when they do that. Uh, what else? Um, There's a bunch. There's a bunch. Dude, I think Darth Maul is one of my favorite Sith Lords, though, from the Star Wars series. I feel like, I feel like Star Wars is really good, except yeah. for 1, 2, and 3. Yeah. Actually, I really like 2 just because of the fight on Geonosis. It looked mm. really cool. I liked I liked that. I, I liked 1 a lot because of Darth Maul and Qui-Gon Jinn were awesome. And I liked 3 because the end fight between Obi-Wan and Anakin was super cool. Yeah, but it... I just after, thought, after watching the video, it really didn't have any meaning. Like, it made sense that it just didn't have any meaning because they didn't really seem that close of friends throughout the three movies. Yeah, so you're like... True. Although, have you seen the um, the animated Star Wars Clone Wars series? I have. Not the new, not the yeah, new one. The, the old one. The yeah, old yeah, one yeah. from, like, 2005. I don't remember the story of it that one, um, but I have seen it. It pretty much is like that. It's the Clone Wars, so it's like a bunch of... So it's basically, you know, it's different fights that happened during the Clone Wars. Yeah. And there are a lot of scenes with Obi-Wan and Anakin and a lot of character development with Anakin's character. No, why the fuck did I put them in the movies? Like, uh, because probably timing and because of also with the writing, because they're bad. No, no. Well, yeah, writing bad, but time constraint is nothing. There's movies who have made me, like... It's true. It's true, but I'm just saying some movies are like yeah. that, that use that. So, I mean... Next time on Golden Geeks, um, we're gonna talk more about movies, maybe. Probably, and then I'm gonna keep playing this and climbing up rocks. Are you ready for this? Ready for this? Ba da ba ba da ba ba da ba ba ba. Do 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 do